One man, one bucket, one chance to seize their destiny together. Oh, new content? What does that mean, new content?
thank you for playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. As you may know, the Stanley Parable was a video game released in 2013 on home computers. After receiving critical and commercial success, it was expanded upon in 2022 with the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, a reimagining of the game for consoles and home computers. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe features exciting new content that broadens and expands the world of the Stanley Parable, delighting audiences the world over. Please, step inside and see what thrilling new adventures await in the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Oh, well, this sounds delightful. I'm very excited to see the thrilling new Ultra Deluxe content. Wait, Stanley, I've just now realized. That bucket you're holding, it's the bucket I've been working on for my sequel. How did you get your hands on it? Isn't this the preview to the sequel? How do you have the bucket already? This, this makes no sense at all. Hold on, did I already show you my ideas for the sequel? I don't remember doing that at all. You're seeing things all out of order. All right, all right, let's see, it's the jump circle. The infinite hole, the giant door, did you see them already? Stanley, none of them are ready yet, I'm still developing them. They're not even close to finished. How did they look when you saw them? Were they captivating? Were they exciting? Did they fulfill on the promise of everything that a sequel to Stanley Parable could possibly be? Had I figured out how the hell to make a sequel to this game? Wait, if you're still carrying the bucket around with you, if the bucket is interesting to you, that means I must have made it correctly. Yes. You carrying the bucket with you everywhere is exactly what I set out to accomplish. The bucket is the exciting and captivating new content that I promised. I did it! I win! I made a sequel to the Stanley Parable! Yes, the sign is correct. Thank you for enjoying the new content. Thank you for taking the bucket everywhere with you, clinging tightly to the bucket, never letting it go. It means I've won. It means I am victorious over the gamers. It is a sweet salve of victory on my soul. Thank you for enjoying the new content. The bucket is the Stanley Parable now. They are one and the same. There is no Stanley Parable without the bucket. I win. 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 All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference, nor did it advance the story in any way. It's bucket time. You see, Stanley, I've been reflecting on the Stanley Parable and about how roundly disappointing this ultra-deluxe version has turned out to be. The original Stanley Parable was a landmark, and any new content for it should live up to that legacy. So forget this ultra-deluxe nonsense. I say we take it one step even further. Which is why I'm very proud to announce for the first time ever the Stanley Parable 2. Yes, you see, isn't this far superior to a measly re-release with a few minor additions? Think of all the new territory we'll cover with a fully-fledged sequel. An entirely new experience, built from the ground up. Why there are so many possibilities, it could go in so many different directions. This is what fans have truly been asking for.
Now, to be clear, I haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable 2 is going to be, but let's take a look at some of the features I've been developing for it. I figure that if I can loosely organize a handful of interesting concepts, that surely the game will sort of naturally spring up around them. It'll all work itself out. Game development is much more of a fuzzy magic than anything scientific or logical, really. Here we are. Go on, try out some of the new features. For the Stanley Parable 2, I asked myself, what do players really want? And of course, the first and most obvious answer is that they want to be individually recognized. Jim. Sorry, I should have clarified. Right now, the button only says the name Jim. Jim. <laughs> Yes! You Jim. Jim. Oh, there, Jim. cowboy. Sometimes a person Jim. can be too Jim. much, Jim. Jim. I'm putting Jim. the Jim button Jim. away. Jim. Otherwise, soon Jim. you'll start to lose all sense Jim. of who you Jim. actually are. Jim. 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 Like balloons. But I'm undecided on Get Well Someday and Happy Twelfth Birthday. Which would you go with? You know... Sometimes when you solicit another person's opinion, it makes you realize that you knew which one you actually really wanted all along. Get well someday it is. Here's something special. You remember that broken test achievement that got left in the game on accident? Well, I'm developing a technology to simply give you the achievement. Yes. You see, you'll come to this lever, and when you pull it, the achievement will be given to you. It's as simple as that. As you can see, the machine is not working yet, since... What? Wait, what in the holy hell is going on? You got the achievement? Why did the machine work? Stanley, I didn't fix it. I didn't do anything to it. I swear, it was broken just a second ago. Who fixed it? Is someone here? Are we being watched? Oh, God. Composure? Composure. Yes, as you can see, the machine is working as normal as I intended. It, um, it truly speaks to the awe-inspiring magic of the Stanley Parable 2. Breathe. Just breathe. What else? What other exhibits haven't we seen yet? You see, isn't it wonderful? One of my more ingenious concoctions, if I do say so. Now then, since you've gotten to see the infinite hole, you can press the teleport button to pop back up to the top and we can continue on. Great, now, I'm very excited to show you even more of my ideas for the sequel. Aha! I can see you've gotten the Settings World Champion achievement. Well done. You've experienced every setting, traveled to all corners of the Settings menu. There's nothing you haven't seen. So, just for you, in the Stanley Parable 2, I'm including an entirely new setting, something called Bump Scosity. What exactly is Bump Scosity? Well, I haven't quite figured that part out yet, but I just know that you'll be able to adjust it on some sort of slider, and that it'll be available from the settings menu. We'll sort the rest of the details out later. I hope you're looking forward to trying out every level of bump scosity in the Stanley Parable 2.
Wait, there are two buckets here. How did you get a second bucket? Oh no, the warmth and comfort of a single bucket is already so great, so intoxicatingly wonderful. With two buckets, there's no telling. Stanley, can you still hear me? Are you with me? Stanley! Oh, thank God. I didn't lose you. Stanley, the power of two buckets was too much. I had to destroy both of them. I know how much the bucket meant to you, but I couldn't take the risk. I hope one day you can forgive me. Calling it the Stanley Parable 2 is just so much catchier than Ultra Deluxe, don't you think? Ultra Deluxe? What does it even mean? But the Stanley Parable 2, now that's an artistic statement. All right, have you seen everything you wanted to? Ready to move on now? So Stanley, what do you think? Do you like all of the new features? Yes, I know it's not exactly clear yet how exactly these features will come together as one single coherent video game, but I can feel it in my soul. It's going to work. There's definitely a good game in there somewhere. Say, let's do an experiment. I'll arrange these new features together and we'll see whether or not it coheres into a meaningful gameplay experience. <laughs> okay, are you ready? Here it is. I give you the Stanley Parable 2. Um, well, um, I mean, there's potential here, right? It's sort of... Okay, never mind. Hold on, let me do a different arrangement. Okay, yes, yes, this is much better. I feel good about this. Here we go, version 2. <sighs> Who am I kidding, Stanley? This isn't a coherent video game at all. It's a lot of gags. And I do very much enjoy creating gags, but they don't add up to anything. I wanted more than anything to create a sequel that would capture all the magic of the first game. I wanted fans to love it. No matter how good these gags are, they won't stand on their own. They would need the structure and the gameplay of the original. Wait, maybe that's it. I can take the original Stanley Parable and simply, well, insert a few of my new features into it. Peacefully, of course. With respect. With care for the vision and integrity of the original game. Would it possibly work? Mm, I suppose it could. But it would need a really, really tremendous title screen. A title screen that says with bold and uncompromising conviction, This is the Stanley Parable 2. Let me see if I can whip something up. <laughs> All right, perfect. Go ahead. Take a look. Stanley, you love the bucket so much, it's like you... Um, it's as though all of your other most prized possessions pale in comparison. Yes. Well, let me try that again, Stanley. I heard that you are pale with shame over how unabashedly in love with a bucket you are. No? Still not? It, is it the delivery? Pale with shame. Pale with shame? Pale... What's another word to describe a bucket? Stanley, this bucket is so metal, I think I saw it playing guitar. No. No, 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 no. We're getting away from making fun of Stanley's obsession with the bucket, which was the whole point of this. I'm just... I'm no good at these jokes. I need more instructional videos. That's exactly what it is. That's what will make me the king of comedy again. More instructional videos. Let's see. Let's see. As Stanley picked up the phone, a white light engulfed him, filling him not just with radiance, but with hope. Hope for a life reunited one... Wait. Oh, goodness. Stanley, did you just unplug the phone? No, that wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? You actually chose incorrectly. 
I didn't even know that was possible. Let me double check. No, it's definitely here, clear as day. Stanley picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife and the two pledge themselves to one another. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. No! When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Stanley? Hello? Are you... Is everything okay? Stanley, please. I... I need you to make a choice. I need you to walk through the door. Are you listening to me? Can you hear me? Is everything all right? Stanley, this is important. The story needs you. It needs you to make a decision. It cannot exist without you. Do you understand me? Whatever choice you make is just fine. They're both correct. You cannot be wrong here. We can work together. I'll accept whatever you do. I simply need you to take that step forward, please. Choose. Do something. Anything. This is more important than you can ever know. I need this. The story needs it. So, you hear me? Are you there? Are you listening to this? Stanley, are you there? Okay. It's okay, I can wait. You need time to decide. Time to make sure your choice is correct. That is the best choice. That's all right. I'll wait for you to decide what's the right thing to do. Take as much time as you need.